Good evening, everybody. My name is Bobby Crafts, and I am with Imagineer Dave. Hello, 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 hello. How are you doing? Tonight, we're going to be building something really cool, so let's get started, and we'll see what we can do. Mm -hmm. All right, Dave. You show me the way. You show me the way. Uh, so, yeah, I figured um, you know, I'm just going to keep recording the entire time, and um, we're going to be building uh, your coaches with a little bit of my twist to it and um, a lot of people in my community have been asking for this build and I didn't feel comfortable doing it without the man who made it so that's what we're doing <laughs> I see I see I see yeah um it was actually funny because I think I made these because um I needed some small like uh older style sort of coaches mm -hmm. and the ones that i was referencing with my own design was also actually the ones from thomas so yeah they fit perfectly and that's the reason why i guess nice so yeah um i do the building you do the building what are we gonna do, um, we let's, do the building? Let's, yeah, let's have you do the building and i'll just kind of watch and try to exp um, we'll both try to explain things as we go if that's cool yeah yeah sure sure thing so mm -hmm. um I'm just grabbing some bogies. I don't know if you want the same ones, like the standard ones. Um, honestly, what this bogey looks a thousand times better already. So let's do that. Um, because I don't think there's a special bogey. Yeah, those are just standard bogies. So these look cool. Yeah, let's get the uh, get a little bit of a uh, uh, another one because if you hold, if you have steam and reels, I think, and you hold Alt right. Yep. You can actually scroll to double axle and then. This one that we'll be using is actually the one for uh, a, uh, a passenger wagon. Okay, perfect. Yep. So uh, they are spaced. Let me check, let me check, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven apart. So okay. there's seven right in between, right? Okay. Uh, and for the middle ones, we're actually going to do a little bit of a different thing because in the middle, three blocks. Oh, sorry, remove the bogey. Oh, you're good. And then girders on either side, right? Yeah, and then, like, the girders are inside of that, yeah. Gotcha. Oh. So, oh, sorry. You get it? Yep, so I'll help. I'll yeah. help where I can kind of thing. Yeah, if you actually uh, work on that side, then I'll do the other. So, Perfect. here I have some slabs. Here, I'll, I'll give the slab to you. Okay. Uh, upside down, next to the side of that. Also, I think there's some glue left there from some something else. So oh, let me just yeah. remove that. Let me just remove that to be sure. Yeah, there we go. I literally, literally just finished building Gordon, so I I, oh, uh, I see. Thanks for catching that. <laughs> well, nice, nice, nice. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. Um. Yeah, and then some uh, full ones that are over here, actually, too, on the side of the bogey. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And okay. the endings, uh, no, one, one more in front, one more in front, I think, like here, right? Yeah, and then at the end there are stairs, inside oh, stairs. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit different, yeah, I think it's like that. And then, oh, in the end, in the middle, there's also this, apparently. Yeah, I, you see, sometimes when you make these wagons, you don't really think logically, you just start somewhere and just go on until it looks good, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, uh, I, uh, I think you had, like, uh, you were building some wagons last week, right? Some I was. new ones. Yep, they're over, on, they're over in the station right now. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah, and is that actually the same for you? Like, when you start uh, making those, you just go at what looks nice and what doesn't, I guess? Or... So it's a little bit different for me. Um, what I try to do is I look at a picture for what I'm building and I try to match details as much as possible to the picture and then I add my own flair to it once I have it built. So like if I was to take one of your locomotives, for example, I would build it 100% exactly the way you did based off of a photo from what i can tell and then i add my own flair to it kind of thing I see. so that's I see, I see. that's how i'm teaching myself how to build in this uh create mod nice 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 so i see you're finishing up on that actual wagon over at the base and so you are way farther ahead <laughs> i no no no. i i already went like one step further but i think we can actually work on the the one right here so okay I, 
I like to build the first layer first and then slowly go upwards. I think that's the easiest, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, so over at those full blocks, there's like the width of a step. You can either do that with four slices or just with a step, I guess, if you have those. Yep. Works both. Yep. Let me just do the other side for you. That works. Yeah, and on the end, just uh, actually the buffers. Yeah, I got those. And I think it's just to like up to everybody who wants to use like uh, also these to check out what kind of uh, links you want, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like to use the uh, screw link. Same. It's very British and it's very Sodor. Mm. <laughs> But yeah, I guess you could go for another style if you really wanted to. So, um, here you changed a little bit of my design, I think, uh, because you added some other actual textures at the bottom, right? Um, I don't know what it is. Which, which where? The uh, a riveted local metal, right? Oh, yeah. yep, yep, yep. I wanted it to just be um, black on the bottom, straight black on the bottom, just to match I the Annie and Clarabelle design there. And I see, I see. It looks really nice, actually. I yeah. like it. I might actually um, steal that for my own wagons again. Sure. So, yeah. That's uh, a good addition. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. So, that's finished, right? Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So, what I like to do is um, line out where every wagon and everything goes. So, I get some seats. Okay. And for these wagons, um, the setup is like, it has three a door sort of a thing. And I think that's based off the uh, old English wagons, which also had three doors. I think mm -hmm. one for first class, second class, and third class in each one. So that's kind of what they're, yeah, uh, based off, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it's just some rows of seats. And then where you end up with the uh, actually filled in areas, that's going to be like the walking area and where the doors are. Right, right. Um, yeah, and then there are some spacer walls like right there in between. I think you were going to build them right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's, I guess, I guess the basics. Okay. Uh, and then it's just like some layers and some doors, right? So a door you can never have <laughs> on actually all of these copycats. So just have them inside, sadly enough. I yeah, know, that's so silly. Yeah, I would love it to have a door outside of the, uh, on actually the copycats because most of the times you have like these outside uh, layers. So mm -hmm. you get more room inside. Yep. I think you went with panel. Oh, it's all layers. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's like one outside layer and then one from the inside towards that way. So you can have the uh, thing over there. So actually, uh, yeah, you need to move that one in front oh, of the like, inside there. inside layer. How did you do the inside layer? Well, just from the inside and then at the wall. Oh, at the wall. Oh, okay. Aim okay. at the wall like that. Um, yeah, yeah, be, ah. because what you then can do is actually like you see these little handrails over here. Yes. Actually, the golden ones. You can have the like outside area as that. Okay. So that's okay. why you do that, I guess. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, the ones over at actually the bottom, I would like to have them. Uh, them to be the inside too, but you can't because the seats are already there. So that's sort of a way you can cheat around and add more little little areas and like handrails and things. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. It's just up to uh, what it looks like, I guess. Well, I think it looks pretty fantastic. So I see you have some other windows with like shutters in them and I love them. Yeah, aren't those awesome? Yeah, like, like from which model are they? I think that came from Builder's Delight. Oh yeah, I see. I yeah, see. Builder's Delight, yep. 
they were really nice. Yeah, for those of you that don't know Imagineer Dave, definitely take a minute to go subscribe to his channel. I will put a link in the description of the video. Mm -hmm. um, he has got some awesome stuff and is either, it's either quite possibly the largest functioning railroad in Crate or it is the function, largest functioning railroad in Crate, something like that. I don't so, know if it's the largest. Uh, I think it's maybe the most realistic most work. And most realistic. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the largest, I don't think so, because I've heard others say, like, that their stations were, like, 500 long or something, and I was like, why? That's yeah, so long. That is a, that is pretty long. But I must say, like, an engine with, like, really long wagons does look really cool. And I can't really have those because I don't have the length that you need for that mm -hmm. inside of my station. So. Yeah, but it's okay. You're on a you're on an SMP though, right? Yeah, it's 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 uh, <laughs> everything is made in survival, so I guess that mm -hmm. uh, yeah also doesn't really help out. Like the first thing I had to do on that server was dig up a whole mountain that was like a, a 70 high or something. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. The nice thing about it, though, you get like a lot of resources, I guess, from it. Mm -hmm. So that helps. Oh, for sure. Create mod can definitely be intimidating for some people, but it's also pretty fun as well once you get the hang of it. Yeah, it, um, it is actually really fun because it's sort of it isn't too easy but at the same time it isn't really hard or something mm -hmm. like you can make it as hard as you want i guess yeah that's the fun part about it um so uh that's the base shell i guess of this wagon yeah we just need the under uh, oh yeah you already have those panels underneath yeah Ooh. a couple of them oh. yeah Nice, 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 nice. There we go. Oh, that's it for that part, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's like the shell. And now you can really see how the layout is of sort of the wagons. Mm -hmm. So it's like three areas with six seats in each of them. So, yeah. Um, On your original design, did you add the slices in the corners? No, I didn't. I didn't. This is ah. actually an addition uh, that's made by you, I think. Okay. And I it like must it. Be. So I guess you added that to sort of end off like the, I think the wagon, right? Yeah, I think so. Kind of just give it a little bit more of a, a sh like a square shape when I added in the, the curved roof. Well, curved yeah, to an I extent. See, see. Yeah, and from here, it's like more your design. So now I need to look what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So I've got a, cu a couple of different things. I did a line of... Um, copycat layers all the way through the middle oh. and I believe I went up by five on that if I'm not mistaken on the layer they should really add that if you hold like uh, 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 the thing where you get like the entity uh, also like actually the data yeah for that they like also for include like the amount of uh, layers in that oh yeah that would be cool that would be really nice so it yep. does not only like remember what's inside of it but also the amount of layers right oh so you added like variants to it i did yeah so i used the uh white steel tank on the um oh i did it wrong. roof as well did we make these no we didn't okay so i went every other block i did a white steel tank yep. as well yeah so like that let me just up these layers for you oh perfect thank you and then i just kept repeating oh goodness oh 
You know, if you want to, like, have a seat already, you can, of course. But <laughs> you still have to finish the wagon, you know? It wouldn't let me out. There we go. Four and then three or two? Yeah, I believe it was uh, five, four, three. And then on the slice is just the uh, two, or the slice is two. two. Uh, so five, I four, see. three, two. Okay, I see. And then the slice goes all around, right? Yep, the slice goes all the way around, and yep, exactly, just like that. Oops. Let me work on this side, and then I'll skip over to the uh, other okay. carriage. but surely we're actually getting there uh, yeah. and then we have to glue it up of course still yeah and that's something that i have been forgetting to do in a lot of my videos so a bunch of my comments lately have been hey so i glued this and it's not working or i so i uh built this and it's not working what am i doing wrong how did you glue it oh no what's gluing oh man <laughs> Yeah, I see. Like, for these wagons, I think the gluing is quite simple, luckily enough. But of course, uh, sometimes it can be really hard if you have, like, a multiple bogies. I think you had that on... Uh, uh, I think it's Gordon, right? Yep, it was Gordon that yeah. I was just actually having trouble with, and I managed to um, refigure out how I did it right before you joined me. And, um, Let's see. Yeah, it's a... A little bit of a weird tutorial, but it's a glue, somewhat gluing tutorial in the Gordon video. Glue, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, yeah, it can be actually hard, and of course, when you just uh, start up with the game, you don't know that you actually have to uh, do all of that. You just see somebody else uh, building a wagon and then like hitting a button and it's done, you know, sort right. of thing. Right, exactly. Um, another question: Do you still do you have these like hidden uh, controls in your wagons, or don't you? Hidden what controls? No. Yeah. No, no I actually don't. I took those out. I did see that you had one. Was it like the bottom, like right here, I believe? If I'm yeah, not like mistaken. all the way in the bottom, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the bottom and the front. So it was a front facing. Um, but I did take it out. And, um, but at, for this one, we can just do that. And um, then I can connect it up with somebody else, one of the other characters, and take it off. Or yeah, I, yeah, I see. We can yeah. honestly just glue these and leave them be, and I can take care of them later, kind of thing. No big also deal. fine, baby. Also, I mean. yeah, it's just that I like I always add it to my wagons or at least sets of wagons because mm -hmm. then I'm at least sure that I can always move them, you know? Yep. Sort of thing. So I think that's it, right? That is it, yeah. That's it. And the gluing is pretty simple because it's just basically a box. So I'll put a marker down there. So that's one spot where you'll mark it in there. And then all the way up there. So if you grab some glue. Oh, I had it, but there it is, okay. I'll let you do it. it so just glue from that block up to this block, and it Boom. should be a square. It and is. everything should be inside. So I got so, a, I have a question for you now. The, uh, on the, because these were your original schematics for these coaches. On your original schematics, you've got a lot of really weird glue spots. Was there a reason for doing gluing like that? Uh, yeah, uh, what I sort of like to do is um, don't, or like every air that is there, I don't want to glue that. So in here, what I actually did is, for example, all the way over here in the corner, in the bottom, Yep. there is no glue because there's also nothing there, like no actual block. And in here too, oh. you can glue it like a box, like what we just did. That's yep. easier. But if you want to like include other things right next to it or almost inside of it, then it's safer to only glue everything that's in it, you know, except like glue no air, basically. Yep, that makes total sense. Yep. But I must say, like, these wagons are so simple that you can just glue these as a box. But for example, if you have like an engine, what I like to do is glue like all of the uh, uh, um, like higher areas and lower areas separate. Mm -hmm. So you don't get that much 
air inside of your uh, gluing zone, I guess you could call that. Yep, makes sense. But right now these should work. So uh, actually, we can I can test one thing out. Just have some controls in here for one second. So sure. Then we yeah. can see if it works. Oh, if it lets me place these. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So there, there we, we go. go. And I have an advancement. That's great. Nice. Look at that. It's almost like it's a uh, New York City metro now. Yeah, except you have no window and you cannot look where you go. Well, yeah, just F5. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Like, uh, I was all already going to say if you go really far ahead, you'll actually hit another engine. So uh, don't go too far. But... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's that, right? That is that. And I that. don't know uh, how you want to end the video. But... Well, I, th I think that's pretty much it. Normally, what I just say is, if you know, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. Make sure to go over and subscribe to this fella on uh, YouTube, uh, Imagineer Dave, and uh, you know you'll get some really cool stuff. And you know, only other thing I say is, okay, love you, bye. <laughs>